Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the After Show Podcast for What's Up Enugu. My name is Nina. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be doing a highlight of the key things that happened on the show this week. I have decided to call this episode the Pepper Stew Edition. So better grab a plate of rice and some chilled water so you don't choke on this. <laughs> so how exactly did this week start? My favorite guys from Kenya, South to South, featuring Ali Kiba on Unconditionally Bay. Sounds to the radio at the 1.1 What's up, Enugu? Nina is here helping you beat the Monday blues. See, if you're a team, I hate Mondays. How about you try today to flip the script, okay? Put in an effort to make someone's day. Random acts of kindness are pretty cool. So pay someone a compliment, you know, give someone a smile, pay for someone's tea fare, buy someone some breakfast. It will make you feel good knowing you've made someone feel good. That way you start your day on a positive note, knowing someone has got a smile on their face and it's all because of you. hoped someone would take that advice and you know perform some random acts of kindness like you know buy me clothes or send me ordinary small 100k that they are not using but then again people don't listen to advice anymore man like burner boy giving us yay what's up enugu nina is your companion this monday morning heard about working for your cash how about letting your cash work for you find out how right here we'll let you know how big little cash can be for you falling on a budget listen you need to learn to save the extra cash that you make instead of using your bonuses or a wolf money to buy those pair of shoes you've been eyeing for a very long time how about you save them all just pretend you never received the money you just got and immediately put the money away you've been surviving without the extra cash so you won't die if you don't spend it this will help you save more reach your financial goals quicker and be able to go balling on a budget let's get malik berry and gecko in here echo miami sounds the radio hold up first <laughs> i had to talk about buying shoes because i am guilty as charged <laughs> but on a real though i know how rich i would have been by now if only i had saved those extra cash so y'all better learn from my experience because i'm not even about to hide it I am broke. My account balance says try again later. Insufficient funds is what it's telling me right now. See me and hip hop hooray on Sound City Radio 91.1. Nina is here and it's time for this past weekend's highlights as we go 45 seconds around the world. Clock up. At least 18 people have been killed and 178 others injured after a train derailed in Taiwan. Whew, heartbreaking. A 24-hour curfew has been imposed in Kaduna State following recent communal clash that has left over 50 people dead. It was that sort of weekend, but on some good good, Africa's youngest billionaire, Mohamed Doji, is finally a free man nine days after he was kidnapped by gunmen. Super Eagles midfielder Ogeni Nazi and wife Sandra welcomed their second child this weekend. And guess what? It's a baby girl alicia keys surprised her husband swiss beats with a 2019 aston martin for his 40th birthday yo it's not even 2019 yet so where are you guys getting all these cars and money from seems like i'm the only broke person in the world yeah terrific tuesday in the coast city i'm asking would you rather be heartbroken constantly or lose money constantly at c caminus on twitter says i'd rather be heartbroken constantly than lose money constantly time heals all heartbreaks but money makes life worth living vi not in spoils repping all the way from phc and he says hmm i'd rather be heartbroken constantly than lose money constantly chai the meaning of love is money bobby joe says i'd rather be heartbroken constantly because love will not put food on the table preach brother the preach and jake's mark says losing money is like the major type of heartbreak one can go through please the ladies can go nobody ever died from his lady going but losing money can make you go mad okay so wrapping up now the poll says 69 percent of you would rather be heartbroken constantly than lose money constantly amazing for me i think i'll go with the crowd i would rather be heartbroken constantly than lose money constantly in the words of a very wise man by name young six money is relevant thank you so much guys for getting involved Nina is here with the biggest tracks on a Tuesday morning. Sound City Radio 91.1. What's up, Enugu? So for fans of Cardi B, Team Body Gang, brand new Cardi music titled Money actually drops on Thursday. So you better be on the watch. And of course, there is a brand new Wizkid and R2B song also dropping. Those three, because R2B is the duo, always have some sort of chemistry every time they come together. So be on the watch for all of those brand new music. 
And yes, the Cardi music came in rather early on Tuesday, and here it is. I was born to flex, yes. diamonds on my neck. I like boarding jets, I like more, I like more. But nothing in this world that I like more than checks. Money. All I really wanna see is the money. I don't really need a D, I need the money. All I back need is the money. Whoa. I got pants in the coop, mm. busting out the roof. I got pants in the coop, mm. touch me. I'm, I'm a Cardi fan, but. Let's tell ourselves the truth. This new song sort of sounds like every other song she's been putting out. And she took major swipes at Nikki fans on her Instagram live. You know the barbs. They claim they hate me, but they really love me because everything that I do, they be on it before my fans. So clearly, seems like you love me. Oh. Yeah, I don't give a f- I say what I want to say. Easy, like, girl. Sick and tired of fucking lying about it. And they seem like my biggest f- fan. Go easy. Always on my f- Page. Always doing the most, always on my nuts. Seem like you my fan. Some facts though. But then again, aren't Cardi fans like ex Nicki Minaj fans? I'm asking for my neighbor though. <laughs> Honestly, we need a revised edition of this song. Which musician do you know is having double AMVCAs? What's up, Enugu? It's Top Taste Tuesday. I've been obsessed with crispy chicken of late so i decided to share how i make them marinate your tender chicken for about an hour with your desired spices then mix your chicken spices dried pepper salt and flour in a bowl beat some eggs into a separate bowl now dip the chicken pieces into the egg to lightly coat them then transfer to your flour mixture just turn it a few times and make sure the flour mix is really stuck to the chicken now heat up your vegetable oil and fry i really do like mine very very crunchy so i love to leave it a little close to burning before i get them out if you ever get to try this out don't forget to let me know we'll do turn it up or shut it down next God, the music. I promise, making crispy chicken is easy, but not as easy as I made it sound. But if you're not about that chef life, just go to the mall and buy already made crispy chicken. Life is easy. Two minutes past seven on a Wednesday morning. Today is World Development Information Day. So I decided to share info on how to deal with haters on the internet because a lot of us have had someone suffering from lack of happiness syndrome creeping on our pages and insulting us. So now here are high five ways to deal with internet trolls and haters. Number one. Make light of the situation. Laugh over it or see them as someone who needs joy in their lives. Number two. Kill them with happiness. Don't sink to their level. Number three. Fight back with facts. If they're accusing you falsely or speaking lies, show them receipts to shut them up. Number four. Ignore them. Trolls want attention. They want to get you angry, frustrated or uncomfortable. So don't give them that satisfaction. Number five. Block them. This one is my favorite. If you're looking for somewhere to be unfortunate, it's definitely not on my social media. So say hello to the block button. Those are high five ways to deal with internet trolls. So if you're doing all of these, high five to you. If you haven't seen the video for Fever by Whiskey, you should log on to www.soundcity.tv to watch it. Tiwa Savage and Whiskey are causing a lot of trouble on social media with that video. She was actually the video vixen and boy, was it all shades of sensual. People have been talking about this too, having a little some some going on. And just when it seems like the talks are dying down, they decide to pull this on us. And the funny thing is, a lot of people are falling for it, which is exactly what they want. As you guys are busy saying they have something romantic, going on the video in less than three hours has almost 30,000 views they're busy making money but you're busy making rumors that don't concern you they pay them well should get off their judgmental high horses for a second and appreciate a black and beautiful and did I forget sexy woman. I really hope my body is that banging when I'm above 30 and have had a baby. And guys in 24 hours the video had over 1 million views. You see these guys are cashing out. So why don't you just face your front and mind your own business maybe by then you'd get a million customers or nah. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, with Nina, this may be time for some fun facts. Last night, I was studying about fear. And I discovered some very awkward, weird types of fear. Venustrophobia is the fear of beautiful women. Chromatophobia is the fear of money. 
Nomophobia is the fear of being without mobile phone coverage. Now, if you have this, you shouldn't be in Nigeria because we can be like Amaka sometimes. Euphobia is the fear of good news. Now, I understand why people are so hateful when something good happens in someone else's life. Uranophobia is the fear of heaven and phobophobia is the fear of phobias. Now, this one, I don't really understand it because how can you be afraid of being afraid? It don't make no sense. More of your favorites here on Soundstu Radio. What's up, Enugu? With Nina. <laughs> this was truly a fun fact. The one that blew my mind was fear of heaven, uranophobia. You better not have this fear as an African because our African parents will help send you to heaven earlier than you were supposed to arrive. On Wednesdays, I love to share some true but unbelievable stories and I call it, you can't make this stuff up. There are days when you wake up in the morning and you wonder, what has today got to offer? A setting waitress in North Carolina, after serving a customer who only asked for two glasses of water, has found herself flush with cash. The customer, who happened to be a YouTube star, only had a few sips of the water he ordered and then he left a $10,000 tip for the waitress. $10,000 is about three. Point six million naira. I need to know how she served the water because right now I'm reconsidering my career choice. I think I was born to be a waitress. 3.6 million naira after serving a glass of water? You can't make this stuff up. Thursday morning, we talked about the death of South African rapper Double HP. My name is Nina. What's up, Enugu? Sad news I learned yesterday night. South African rapper Double HP had passed away at the age of 38. Double HP was one of those who made South African hip-hop popular, especially the part where you sing with indigenous language because as of then, most local artists were actually imitating the American style of rap. So he carved a niche for himself in the South African hip-hop industry and of course, the hip-hop industry in Africa as a whole. The circumstances surrounding his death have not been confirmed, but thousands of Africans have taken into social media to pay respects to him and of course we are doing the same thing as well may his soul rest in peace it also made it to our 45 seconds wrap up for the week legendary south african rapper double hp passed away at age 38 it is with heavy hearts that we confirm that jabulani tambo known to his fans as hippo pantola passed away today the family spokesperson also requested for privacy the tambo family requests privacy during this time of mourning once all the arrangements have been made the family will make further communication it's still very sad and unbelievable though What's up, Enugu? Nina is here with you. Let's know. Would you rather date someone who cheats on you but you don't know about it or someone who doesn't cheat but you always think they're cheating? Michael King and Udochuku Mega says they would rather have someone who doesn't cheat but they always think they're cheating. Meche Ono says, Good morning, Soundsty Radio. I would rather have a partner who cheats but I don't know. I'm just trying to avoid high blood pressure. Victor Eze says he would rather have a partner who cheats but you don't know because that's respect. Cheating on someone isn't a sign of respect though. Anyway, I love you too, Victor. And OG Peter says, Vico, I'd rather have one who doesn't cheat, but I always think they're cheating. I know one die young. <laughs> this was like having to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea. But then that's the whole point behind would you rather. If I had to pick with a gun to my head, I'd rather have one that cheats on me. And I don't know. I'm too young to be frustrated to death, please. <laughs> on Friday, I shared some major keys on balling on a budget. Heard about working for your cash? How about letting your cash work for you? Find out how right here. We'll let you know how big little cash can be for you. Balling on a budget. It's just a few days to payday and a lot of us are already singing a lot to Ole. But the problem is, some of us don't do anything tangible with that money when it eventually comes. So if you want to make the best use of your monthly income, pay yourself first. Once you receive your salary or allowances, the best thing to do is to make a transfer to your savings account. Any delay whatsoever might lead to you burning through the entire fund and there is no way you meet your saving goals if you keep skipping every single time. Remember, the key to saving is to save before you spend. So plan to pay yourself first before anything else when the alert enters. Sound City. Waste no time. What's up, Enugu? Time to go 45 seconds around the world. Here are the biggest highlights of the week. Clock up. WWE champion Roman Reigns relinquished his title because of his ongoing battle with leukemia. I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. And because the leukemia is back, I cannot be that fighting champion. And I'm going to have to relinquish the Universal Championship. Whiskey's fever video which had Tiwa Savage as his love interest had social media running high temperature.